What's up you guys, it's Ness. Today I'm out here in Santa Monica, um, just walking around getting a couple shots, curating a couple spots for um, my show. Uh, getting a couple shots, curating a couple spots for a shoot that I have coming up. This whole video is just gonna be about how to curate certain shots or spots for your shoot. I got the Fuji X100V with the GoPro Hero 10 attached, you feel me? So y'all get a certain type of perspective. And um, I mean, trying to show y'all something different, so enjoy. The first shot that I see is like right here in this area. This nice, it looks plain, but it's gonna look fire when I, you know what I'm saying, shoot it, so. I'm also gonna be taking a couple shots of just like random things because like this stop sign is really fire. I love that. Dips, dips. <laughs> yeah, this area right here. I will frame it like this. So that's nice. So I really like this red garage. I've actually used this spot before for one of my images or one of my pictures, images, pictures. But I really love this spot. And I really don't like taking pictures of people like in front of people's houses or taking pictures of people's houses because I feel like it's kind of an invasion of privacy. And if I do, I always blur out or edit out the, um, the address of whoever's location I'm shooting in front of because, you know, privacy is everything these days. Of what little we do have left, you know what I'm saying? I like to be one that respects it, you feel me? So. Let's get this shot real quick. Uh, let's go. Let's change the shutter. Yeah. I think that'll do it. I love this gray garage. I feel like it'll look really nice in a photo. So, you know, yeah. I like that. That's nice. looked across the street and I saw this over here. I think this would look really good too. Some of the photo ideas that I have. Yeah. Let's see, this is how you train your eye. You know what I'm saying? To see different things. Just walk around, see different things, take a photo of it, and you know what I'm saying? See what you can use it for. I really like this area with the cactuses. Um, and if you notice about a lot of the shots that I'm taking, I shoot with the sun instead of against it. I don't wanna make my job harder, you know what I'm saying? Um, there are certain situations where that looks really good, but for me, I like the sun hitting directly. All I have to worry about now is just the time of day that I'm shooting, so that way the sun is not all up in the model's eyes, so she's not squinting and stuff, unless that's the look I'm going for. But um, I really like this area, so yeah. Like stuff like this you can use for like sitting down. You could even use this for beauty shots just to have some type of uh, texture in the background and stuff like that. So, you know what I mean? Just trying out different things. All right, so I'm not trying to draw this video out and make it longer than it has to be. The whole purpose of this video is just showing you how to curate spots for your shots. You like that, right? You know, just curate spots for your shots. I'm satisfied with what I have so far. It's not supposed to be like a super high fashion, high end location type of shoot. It's very chill vibes, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna do a lot more like this um, when I am curating spots for shots. That's what, spots for shots. That's what I'm gonna call it, spots for shots. You know what I mean, just spots for shots. Spots for shots. <laughs> but that's about it, you guys. Take it easy.